bright eyes and a shiny coat. Take a look at that. Cats that have that bright eyes look have the look of a healthy cat. Does your cat have that bright eyes look, bright eyes and a shiny coat? Feed him Bright Eyes Gourmet Cat Food. Cats love it. Extra vitamins and protein help give your cat bright, sparkling eyes. And a special blend of oils help give him a rich, shiny coat. Cats that have that bright eyes look have the look of a healthy cat. Jedi breaks the bank, 7.30 tonight. The union of husband and wife in heart, body, and mind is intended by God is Derek, for their mutual joy. Therefore, marriage is an emergency. not to be entered into unadvisedly an or lightly. If, <clears throat> if any of you can show just winter, cause please. why they may not be lawfully married, speak now or else forever. I want to know. Hold your peace. Go on. The ring, please, Mr. Lee. And take Raven's hand. Will you, Skyler, take Raven to be your lawfully wedded wife? That's not my ring. Go on. Uh, lawfully wedded wife. Uh, to have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to oh, love and it? to cherish till death you do part. It's Geraldine. It's Geraldine's. Yes. <laughs> I will. I place the ring on her finger. The, the, the ring on her finger. Um, the angle and the depth of the wound indicate a fairly powerful person. What about the weapon? It's a very, very sharp, narrow knife, uh, probably about a half an inch wide, maybe six inches long. And look, there are some irregular markings on the tissue, which might indicate that the knife was nicked in some distinctive manner. I don't know. I'll have to wait until the autopsy. Uh, the APB has gone out on Del Everett. We may not know exactly who he is, but at least we have a pretty good description. Well, now, listen, can you people tell me about this? Yes, the victim's name was E.J. Pond. He was a key witness against a fence we arrested named Jake Vanefra. Right now, our... Prime suspect is this man using the name Del Everett. Well, I wish we could have saved this guy. <laughs> I like his clothes, any personal effects he had. All right, I'll get them for you. You have no leads on this Everett at all? It's like he vanished into thin air. Will you, Maven, Ra Raven, take Skyler to be your lawful wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward a better for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death you do part. I will. Uh, will all of you uh, witnessing these promises please do all in your part and your power to uphold these persons in their marriage? Yes. 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 I now pronounce you man and wife. May I kiss the bride. You better give me a good explanation for ruining this wedding. Edge of Night is brought to you by New Lemon Fresh Joy for a beautiful shine without towel drying. And by Tide. From ice cream to mud, Tide gets it clean. 14, 34, pike! How far do we moms have to go to see our team clean? Where 11 boys of our home team defend the field of muddy green. They're fumbling, fumbling all around. Can't seem to get a touchdown. An extra 
Action Team needs an extra action tide. Mom, she knows the score. My tide's tackled this mess before. So go ahead and sludge them, splatter them, splotch them. Claim your spot. Tide gets it clean. Tide's America's favorite. From cocoa to mud, Tide will tough clean it. You've just seen it. Now here's that winning side. Same clothes, same team, red, white, and clean with extra action tide. Tide, tide Claim your spot. Tide gets it clean. It was evening when the Moore sisters discovered something beautiful. What a joy, Fred. Our dishes shine. <laughs> Without towel drying. All this smells lemony, too. The Clarks also discovered it. Hey, shiny dishes without towel drying? Uh-huh. Lemon Fresh Joy is different. With other leading brands, we'd usually get dirty-looking spots. With Joy... Dishes dry practically spot-free without a towel. Fact is, other leading brands can dry leaving spots. Joy's unique anti-spotting formula lets dishes dry practically spot-free, down to the shine. Gorgeous shine. Without a towel. What a joy. Discover Lemon Fresh Joy for a beautiful shine without a towel. This is everything. Pockets were empty. Let's see what we have here. Wait a minute. What are you doing? Now send those to the lab. No, I want to take a look at them before the lab technicians get their no, hands I don't care done. what you want to do. Proper procedure is to send these to the forensic lab until Dr. Cavanaugh here can perform the autopsy. It's been my experience that to see something firsthand now rather than it. read about it in a report... Now can hold help it! I don't care how you used to do your job. I happen to be your commanding officer. Now take these garments, place them in an evidence bag carefully, seal it, and take it down to the forensic lab. Thank you. Sir. I'm sorry, Miles. Uh, she's new and apparently a little eager. Who from? <laughs> she Calvin's new partner? Yes, direct from the big city. Maybe they do things differently there. Huh? What are we supposed to do? Geraldine was nice enough to volunteer the ring for the duration. It doesn't even fit! Look at this! It was the best that we could do. I asked the Reverend. He said that it's, it's still legal. <laughs> Mine, too. What are we going to do? I mean, the reception is going on down there. We're sitting up here. What are people going to think? It's our wedding. We can do what we want to. Well, but what I would like to do is just go downstairs and then pretend that nothing unusual happened. But how can I do that? I mean, I think somebody noticed that something went a little wrong. Well, there were one or two times when we did get a bit loud. But don't preach at me. You mean I got a little loud. Well, I'm not going to let anyone know that I'm not perfectly happy. My beautiful wedding. How could you? It wasn't easy. Reserves, Mrs. Cavanaugh? Oh. Yes, Gunther, thank you. Um, what are these? Those? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, those are just little red. Uh... <laughs> My favorite. Uh, may I say, Mrs. Cavanaugh, that you sure are looking good? Well, thank you, Gunther. Uh, how's the doc these days? He's fine, thank you. Uh, well, I was just wondering, uh, you being here and he's not, I certainly hope things are fine between the two of you. They've never been better. Oh, uh, yeah, well, I know how it is. Uh, listen, if you're just saying that to uh, cover up, I understand. And if you ever want to talk it over with a friend or anything... You'd uh, be happy to oblige. In a minute. Gunther, mm -hmm. take your little red things and go away. Oh. Um, well, sure, Mrs. Cavanaugh. No offense. Mm. I called Cliff this morning. He was at the rock garden again. Mm more problems. Well, actually, he sounded quite <laughs> pleased with himself. He convinced Francesco not to quit. He got the bus boys to quit fighting and shake hands. Uh, and he assured Marianne that he would help her run things until Mitzi uh, returns. So he does think that she will. Well, he figures that if he runs a place real smoothly, it will show Mitzi how much he loves her, and she'll come back. Oh, really? Now, that's terrific if Mitzi's hiding in the cloakroom. I mean, the way I see it, she's really left town. Now, how, she's, how is she supposed to know all that he's supposedly doing at the rock garden. That occurred to me, too, but I didn't have the heart to tell him. <laughs> oh. 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 
were gracious enough to lend us your ring. Not at all, my dear. I was happy to do it. When you recover your own wedding band, you can simply return mine. I'm going to miss you. Where are you going? Well, I'm going to move in here, and I, I'm gaining a husband, and you're losing a roommate. Uh, yes, uh, it seems to me I lost that roommate sometime last week. <laughs> yes, well, we're going to see each other, but it's not going to be the same, and I just want you to know that I'm so grateful that you took me in, and you're such a friend. Thank you, Ray. You're really very dear. Uh -huh. Look at all this caviar. Look at that. Man, I could pig on that for a week. I hate caviar. <laughs> I see you're having a better time than you thought you would. Well, it's not that bad. You know, my old man <laughs> used to perform these phony marriage services when he was pretending to be an evangelist. Mm -hmm. Like, he had some strangers, too. I remember one time he hits these two alligator wrestlers near the Florida-Louisiana border. Mm -hmm. Man, it was strange. I'm telling you. Let me tell you about it, but this one's got to be. You know what I mean? Uh, Have you ever heard from your father again? Anyway. No, I haven't heard from him. Yeah, he, um, he came over this morning before you showed up. What happened? Um, I'll tell you later, I promise. I'd much rather, like, eat, drink, and be with my lady, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Whitney? Sir? Yes, sir. Um, can we talk now, uh, you know, about that, uh, secret, uh, private matter? Ahem, <clears throat> got there. Uh, you may or may not have noticed it as busy as you have been with your investments. But, uh, I got married today. It'll just take a minute. No. No, as I was saying, I never thought that... Investments? Gun. It was so he says, but he won't tell me anything about it. I don't think... How's it going, partner? That's right. Venefra. V-E-N-E-F-R-A. I'd like everything on file on him on my desk within the hour. We should just start. Go back to his birth certificate and work your way up to this afternoon. All right. Is there anything more I can do for you? Now, when do you expect to perform the autopsy? First thing in the morning, I'll have a preliminary report for you by noon. Thanks. Are we going to try to make the reception or what? I'm afraid I can't. I've got to go back to headquarters, make sure all the investigative wheels are in motion. It's murder of a witness. Bad for business. Clam bakes fun, Morris. Not if you're a clam. Look what I'm having. I never eat anything that walks sideways. Here's something special for you. Anchors away, Morris. Don't be finicky. It's Nine Lives Seafood Platter. <sighs> sea air does improve my appetite. Nine Lives Nutritious Seafood Platter has fish, even real shrimp and crab. Seafood Platter, ahoy. <laughs> Nine Lives, the unique recipes cats can't resist. Nine Lives, your oceans apart from the rest. Meet Jennifer, an aspiring actress who's showing us her unhappy look. Jennifer's unhappy because she's wearing a saggy diaper that leaks. Well, here's Huggies, Jennifer. Huggies are form-fitting disposable diapers with soft, gentle elastic to help stop leaking. So Huggies hug to help keep babies dry and comfortable. Thick, absorbent Huggies diapers help keep babies dry. So now you're showing us your happy look, right, Jennifer? Um, this is quite a wedding, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's had its moment, you know. Uh, so, how, how did you come to be manager of the video disco? Well, I'm just, uh, sort of handy with things like that, like, you know, lights and sound and the videotape, stuff like that, you know? Did you study that in college? College? <laughs> would I look like a preppy or something? Huh? No. No, what I did is I learned it, you know, I picked it up from here and there and places like that. Mm -hmm. um, is your family from Monticello? You know, when did this uh, stop being a conversation and turn into like the Perry Mason hour, huh? It's not working. What? Everybody's talking about us. They're talking about the ceremony. Well, what can I do about that? I must say, in all my experience, this is the first. What's that, Reverend Haley? A, a <laughs> wedding where a bride and groom argued while I was conducting the ceremony. Well, um, Raven and Sky aren't quite like other people sometimes. 
Yeah, that just... fact had struck me. I'm not going to tell you one more thing. That it, this is I'm... not the time or the place. About the future of this marriage. Detective Egan, sit down. There's two things I'd like to say to you. The first is I'm very surprised that with all your experience, you don't know better than to try to examine a piece of forensic evidence before the laboratory has it. I might have picked up a valuable clue. Who knows what and I could have... And secondly, I would appreciate it if my subordinates did not try and question my judgment, especially in public. I'm sorry about that. I thought I had a, a legitimate point of view. I wanted to express myself. I want Del Everett, or whoever the killer is, found and linked to Benefra. So rather than continuing to question my judgment and argue with me, I would appreciate it if you would go to it. I'm sorry, Chief Mallory. I was out of line. I apologize. Look, I know how difficult it is when everything is so new. But rather than just charging into things, why don't you take a little bit of time and, and just see how we do things first? I'll do that, sir. Is everything all right now? Sir? Other than having been chewed out by your commanding officer? I'd better go and find Detective Stoner now, sir. Was that all you wanted? Yes, that's all. Hi, I am really sorry I'm late. It just couldn't be helped. Uh, no, no, not, not at all. Uh, Nicole, explain. Where's Derek? Derek had to go back to his office. Right, where's the ring? What? What ring? The ring. The ring. Derek is supposed to be my best man. He has the ring. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. I don't know anything oh, about it. Oh, listen. Oh. An important witness of his just got oh. murdered by somebody named Del Everett. He must have had a lot on his mind. He must have forgotten to uh, take the ring back to his office. Well, oh, there's, there's Nicole over there. Why don't you go and have a good time? Sorry. I just thought I heard someone talking about some dude that I know or um, that I used to know. Nah, it can't be, you know. May I have your attention, please, everyone? It's time to cut the cake. All right. Hello, Raven. I've got the May I have nine, please? Uh, there you go, Mr. Saxon. Nice and sharp. Raven? Yeah. Whenever you're ready, dear. <laughs> uh, Mr. Stoner, uh, you got a phone call. Headquarters? Excuse me. Know what's missing in Pringles light potato chips? A lot of the fat you get in ordinary potato chips. Know what else? You'll never miss it. Know what else is missing in Pringles light? A lot of the salt you get in many ordinary chips. You'll never miss it. You know what's not missing in Pringles Light? Mmm, you guessed it. Pringles Light in the silver can. Less fat, less salt, and so much flavor you'll never miss what's missing. Inside every Duncan Hines brownie, there's a deep, dark difference. Sure looks chocolatey. Mmm. <laughs> How's it taste? Deep, dark, and delicious. Goodness. The deep, dark difference in a Duncan Hines brownie is its chocolatey moistness compared to another leading mix. Ours are chocolatier and moister. Try one. Well. Deep, dark, delicious. <laughs> Duncan Hines brownies. Deep, dark, and delicious. Now you can help the U.S. Olympic team shape up for the 84 Olympics and get yourself into great shape, too. To help you shape up, America's favorite soaps are offering you by mail eight quality exercise aids at big savings. To help our Olympic team shape up, we'll send them a dollar for every exercise aid you order. Look for a free catalog and complete details at participating stores that carry Ivory, Zest, Cam A, Safeguard, and Coast. Come on, America. Let's make 84 the year we all go for the gold. Did you 
see Raven's first cut of the cake. <laughs> Should have been the surgeon, although I must say it's, the incision was a little bit radical. <laughs> hey, Doc. Glad to see you made it. Listen, Preacher, I've had a hard day already. Don't add to it, huh? So what did I say anyway? Absolutely nothing, as usual. Hey, man, what do you got against me? Other than the fact that I'm seeing Jody here. Oh, wait a second. I don't think that we should start. No, this as a matter of now. fact, I will Not answer now. that. He asked the question. Who are you? Where do you come from? And what makes you think you're good enough for Jody? <laughs> you got no call to talk to me like yeah. that. Well, until I get the answers to some of those questions, you better just stay away from me. Miles! Oh, let, let me. How do you think you're gonna stop me from seeing Jody, huh? I mean, you, you can say that here. There's no way you're gonna stop me. Go. I'm sorry. Just when I see him, it's like waving a red flag in front of a bull. I know it, I know it, except that you promised Jody you would try. Now I don't know what she's going to do. Uh, sir, this can't be what is it? Uh, Again? Well, please, now, I know you want to hear this. I know you do. All right, all right, Gunther. We're alone. We're alone now. Now, what is it? Uh, well, it's about uh, a paycheck. Are you asking me for another raise? No. Today? No. Now? No, sir. I would not do that, especially during your wedding day. I mean, you've always been very generous. All right, then, Gunther. If it's not about another raise, then what is it? Well, it's about the last paycheck that you signed. I mean, the last paychecks, the two paychecks that you signed. Uh, well, I can... The signature is good, Gunther. I can't vouch for it. Yes, sir. I know that. Well, then what is it? Well, the check bounced. It what? Boing. No. No, no. Spencer, before his death, there was... Chipping thousands in that account. Yes, sir, I believe you, but the bank don't. Take a look at this. See that? Middle of my wedding reception, and my husband walks off to conduct business with the chauffeur. I, I know with making arrangements for the wedding and all, I haven't really been in touch with business, but Spencer assured me that. Like, I couldn't quite make head or tails out of his record. Well, why is that, Mr. Whitney? Well, I don't know. I, at first, I thought it was just because I was out of touch. Well, I can check these through the master ledger. Uh, Mr. Whitney, sir. Yes, Gunther, what is it? Uh, well, you remember uh, the night when the lights went out? Yeah. Well, when I called the power company, they said you hadn't paid your bill in two months. And now, I didn't want to bother you then, but, uh, well, you know, so I took the money out of the uh, household fund. And... Something wrong here. Something very wrong. When I wanted to lose weight, I went to my pharmacy. You see, like most people, I trust my pharmacist. When I discovered that more pharmacists recommend the Dexatrim diet plan, that was good enough for me. Dexatrim really helps curb your appetite so you eat less and lose weight. It's been proven in seven years of clinical testing. Those pharmacists are right. I lost weight with Dexatrim and I feel great. Lose weight with Dexatrim. More pharmacists recommend it than any other weight loss product. Morning, sir. Hmm. Good afternoon. At Sargento, we're very persnickety. Before a cheese can become a Sargento cheese, it's put to our aroma test, crumble test, and our ultimate test, taste. Burn! Hmm. But not good enough. We know what to look for in cheese, so all you have to look for is Sargento. Afternoon! Evening! The persnickety cheese people from Plymouth, Wisconsin. Ryan's Hope. Captain! The mysterious Charlotte reappears. Can Frank stop her lies and her plot to destroy him? Ryan's Hope. Weekdays. What's going on? Uh, first Derek Mallory decided...
disappears. Then Calvin Stunner answers the telephone and disappears. Now my husband... Raven, I'm sure it's nothing. He'll be back any minute. Well, I'm not waiting. Now, dear, I've heard of some marriages getting off to a rocky star, but this is ridiculous. Yes, but it certainly is good material for my novel. This account is closed. So is this one. And this one is too. In fact, most of the accounts are closed. What's this? this is a letter from a jeweler that Spencer was going to use when I was going to turn all my capital into diamonds. But I told Spencer that that wouldn't be necessary anymore. But from the looks of this, he did it anyway. All that money turned into cash and then into diamonds for mobility. Oh, no. <clears throat> oh, poor old Spence. I, I, I don't believe this. It, it was my plan. And then he used it for himself. Oh, come on. Poor old Spence is dead. Uh, he and uh, Camilla Devereaux, uh, they're both drowned. No. No, I don't think so. I think the reason that Spencer's body wasn't found at the bottom of the river was because he wasn't, he wasn't there. Spencer is absconded with my entire fortune. All of it, Mr. Whitney? For the second time in my life, I'm absolutely penniless. sandpaper to clean your bathtub? Ridiculous. Yet, if you're cleaning with scouring powder, you're probably using the same harsh, scratchy abrasives found in this sandpaper, and that can be rough on your tub. That's why soft scrub is better. It's a liquid cleanser that cleans like a scouring powder, but because it has milder abrasives, it doesn't scratch like one. Soft scrub cleans even tough soap scum like this, but leaves no sandy grit. Try soft scrub. Cleans like a scouring powder, but doesn't scratch like one. Uh-oh. Sink's clogged up. Better call the plumber. That's a bad clog. Better, Better call, call the plumber. plumber. Probably soap and hair. Better, Better call, call the plumber. No, no. Liquid plumber is the one to call for clogs. Watch how liquid plumber drain opener works on tough clogs like hair. Its heavy-duty power totally liquefies the clog. So for tough clogs like hair... Better, Better call, call the plumber. plumber. Better call liquid plumber. Tonight, Colt tries to corral a beautiful bail-jumping roller derby queen on the Fall Guy. Then, when assassins do a number on Princess Koji, Jake winds up taking the frame when the gold monkey returns. After, Fallon's dream party swings into high gear on Dynasty, tonight on ABC. Stuttering is a painful problem for two million Americans, including me. I'll tell you about treatments that might help. Plus, I'll investigate a nursing home where it's charged that people there died for profit. And meet Maurice Sendak, the man who put the wild things in your children's fantasies. On 2020, Thursday.